for the most part, they're gone. It would be the most toxic vote we could take. If you look at the polls, Democrats, Republicans, independents, they do not think we should increase the debt limit. Well, is Senator DeMint right? We're going to ask Republican Congressman from Michigan and rumored 2012 Republican candidate Thaddeus McCotter. <laughs> Congressman, welcome. You, Great to have you here. I want to start right there. Is Jim DeMint right? If Republicans vote to raise the debt ceiling without significant and equal cuts, are they toast? I think Senator DeMint's absolutely right. He's actually gone beyond that as the Republican Study Committee in the House is gone. And we talk about submitting a balanced budget to the states. And in the interim, while they're ratifying that, which they will do, is you have significant spending caps, budget reforms, and then real reductions in spending so that it's a comprehensive package to prevent us from ever getting in this situation again. How do you balance the philosophical uh, and, and I think really moral clarity of saying we're not going to keep raising this debt limit without slowing down some uh, with some spending with the practicality of making sure that you don't end up shutting the government down and causing people not to get their social security and medicare checks not only from the human consequences but the political consequences of that could be disastrous. Well, absolutely and as one of my colleagues Devin Nunes from California said this is that tarp feeling all over again where you were told if you didn't do something, the world was going to end, and, yeah. and you didn't do the right thing, so we're still stuck with some of the problems. And now the world may end because of the, you know, I thought TARP was stupid, by the way, just so you know. I think it was a ridiculous, well, wrong, boneheaded vote, but that's just a very mild opinion I have about it. <laughs> so. And that's, that's why you're so wildly popular. <laughs> uh, and unpopular in other places. So. But the practicality, Governor, comes from the point that the Democrats do not want to remain, they want to remain unfettered to raise taxes, to go on spending, because as you know, and your audience knows, for two years, when they had total control, they went on a binge of government spending. The government got huge, the deficits went up, the debt went up. They have to be held accountable. They have to be responsible to this debt that they've racked up. And if they want to raise it, they have to go back and do the things that are necessary to prevent it from happening again, and they don't. So I think that when the practical question is asked, the practical question is, what puts you here and what are you going to do to stop it from happening? This week, there was a pretty famous moment when uh, uh, Eric Cantor and John Kyle, leaders in both the House and Senate, walked out of a negotiating session with Joe Biden. Now, frankly, I don't blame them for walking out of any meeting with Joe Biden, but it was, it was over. A, that's meant to be a joke, people. Please don't. I don't have a nasty letter from Joe Biden's office. Um, It'll be written in Koran. I probably will be. <laughs> Were they right to walk out, and, and, and you've probably talked to uh, Representative Canada, Canner, what was the real reason they said this is it, this isn't going anywhere? Well, as you know, the Democrats try to stir up dissension amongst Republican leadership all the time in the rank and file, but we respect Eric and Speaker Boehner very much because we've made it clear we're not going to raise taxes. And so what they want to do is they want to raise taxes. They want to tie it into the debt ceiling vote. And we know what that'll do to the real working people that we've talked about. When you continue to raise taxes, you continue to massively increase government. You're crushing the chances for a recovery. And this is what the Americans want. So I think that they were right to do it. And I think that the White House should finally get the message that we are not going to make this recession worse. We're not going to make it harder for people to recover. We want to fix and restructure government starting with the debt ceiling so that the people can get back to work, so people can move from the jobs that they currently have if they want to go up the ladder of success. Rumor is you're kicking the tires about uh, running for president next year. Is that a possibility? And when will we learn what the decision is? Well, it'll be soon. And the only reason I'm thinking about it is so many Cadillacs have driven off the road into the garage. 